So one year ago, December 2022, I made some cuttings of Nepenthes lingulata. The plant was uh, vining and uh, I made five cuttings, three in long fiber sphagnum and perlite, like this kind of mix, even though we don't see the perlite very much here, but there is some, and two in water. And that was the first time I was making cuttings in water and look at the roots in the water. So the two cuttings that I left in the water and I regularly change the water, actually not as often as I should have, but you know, once a week, once every two weeks sometimes, I'm add, you know, replacing the water, cleaning the pot and uh, adding uh, distilled water, uh, reverse osmosis water for me. And uh, it's been a year now and uh, the cuttings have taken, so I, I can see a growth here. And this one actually kept growing from the top, I, I guess. So yeah, those are doing great. Uh, I lost two of the cuttings that were in long fiber sphagnum moss. And actually this one I thought is lost. I just pulled it out of the pot and there is no growth. However, I can see some tiny roots over there. Uh, let me see. And it's really not the same, <laughs> I mean, compared to this, right? So I think I'm just going to soak this one in water from now on. And uh, I may do all my cuttings like this, or almost all my cuttings like this. Um, I think this was not wet enough. And that may be my fault, but uh, yeah, um, maybe that's why they did not work very well here. But anyway, I like to be able to see the roots. It may be a bit more delicate now to repot them, but uh, I mean, I like that. So yeah, I just wanted to provide an update on this uh, Lingulata. Don't get confused with the rest here. I have a uh, Vogeli vining all the way like I'm I'm letting it uh, travel here all the way through the the tent it has nothing to do with lingulata but you know the picture is just right here I have to show it I'm going to put them and I'm gonna have two uh, lingulata Nepenthes lingulata being relatively rare at least here in Canada uh, it's a Highlander I felt like creating a premium mix, very airy mix, lots of perlite, some cocoa chips, and uh, I even added some of the repti bark, this thing. Um, it will dry faster because it's more airy. It will retain less water. So I will need to make sure that I water them regularly, but um, I think in my tent it's going to be fine anyways, because it's always quite humid there. Et voilà, the cuttings are potted. I even microwave the media, which I normally don't do for large plants, um, just to kill any germs of, I don't know, bacteria or, um, that could grow. Uh, I don't want to see any algae growing on top of those. Um, so this is one of them, the smaller one, and then it had, it had very nice roots. And then uh, the other one uh, is already amongst my other plants over there. That's the one right here. So yeah, that's the tip. Looks good. Even have a picture. Picture doesn't look that good, but... Uh, I think this is gonna go fine. Uh, this is actually my other lingulata, the mother plant. I mean, no, that's a basil that was in the pot when I cut the vine of the mother plant. So technically they are all clones here. And uh, I can see other ba basils down, down there. I need to trim the leaves over there. But uh, yeah, lingulata doing well. That's great. <laughs>